Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building and reviewing the brand new Seminole Frontier which was released with a summertime DLC. Uh, now as you can see this is pretty decent, you know it's not too bad looking, very very classic looking. Um, hopefully we get some nice customization to go with this car, it is going to set you back $678,000 in Southern San Andreas. So without any further ado, let's crack on with this review build of the Frontier. Now we usually get the armor as the first option, but in this instance we do get the aerial as the first option. But we do get an option for a hood aerial. Not really sure why that wouldn't come as standard, it being such a classic beast, but it doesn't. So we are going to be purchasing the hood aerial. Then we do come to the armor, we're going to get 100% body armor, then we're going to get the race brakes to go with that. Then the engine, we're going to get a level 4 engine upgrade. And it's not looking good so far, because by now we'd have bump options or grill options. But as I'm looking down the list, I can see them, so I'm not worried too much. Then we get the exhaust option, and the oh, oh, the shotgun exhaust actually looks quite mean, man. Looks quite good. The XL shotgun looks better because it sticks out a little bit further, where these are quite sunken in behind the bumper. The XL shotguns definitely look the best. Uh, the oval exhausts, and then we've get, got the angled shotguns, which come out of the side. Which I'm actually digging, man. They look cool. So I'm going to get the angled shotguns. Then we get fender options. So we get the primary fender. Ooh, so it's just changing the plastics around the arch. So it's not actually changing the fenders. It's changing the wheel arch. Uh, then we get the secondary. Then the XL. Uh, also in primary and then also in secondary. And I'm going to go with the primary fenders. So then we do get a front bumper option. Loads of options for this one, man. Uh, the ram plate. Oh man, these are actually quite quite good so far. I'm actually liking the look of some of these. Loving that. The ball bar two looks awesome. Ball bar three, secondary ball bar three, ball bar four. Nice. There's some really good options for this man. I actually really like the primary ball bar three, so I'm gonna go with that bad boy. But thinking ahead, I think I'm gonna want that a different colour to my primary colour, so I'm gonna go with the secondary ball bar instead. Then we get the grill option. So these grills aren't too great to be honest. I'm going to go over to secondary, I think, on that one, because again, I think it would look better if it wasn't color coded to the car. Then we get an option for the hood. We're going to, oh, we get deflectors. Def what the fuck are they? Oh, okay, so that's the thing that sits at the front. Uh, I think they look a little bit funky, so I'm going to leave them off. Then we actually get the hood option, so we get the insert. Then the aftermarker, the cowl, the reverse cowl, the scooped, the vented, the primary vented, and the secondary vented. My favourite on this one was probably the reverse cow, so I'm going to go with that bad boy. So then we do get a livery option. So what we got? Nothing spectacular, I doubt. The Karras Tritone. Very, very classic looking, that one, which is pretty cool. Same with the old wood, very classic looking. I like, I'm actually digging these liveries so far. They're, they're actually sort of like capturing the era of this car, of where it's supposed to come from, like the 80s, which is really nice, man. That must be a black livery because I can't really see that very clearly. Oh, I can see it there. It looks kind of like a camo. Then we can rust, rust that up. Uh, another rusted one, but a camo version of that. This one looks like uh, it's, you know, an off-roader. supposed to simulate mud, I suppose. Then the Forest Ranger. The Clean Me, which kind of looks weird because it actually just looks like a stick where it doesn't look like it's dirt. So it doesn't really work. Um, but these first few, you know, the old school looking ones, I actually really like them. I thought they looked really smart. Um, I think the Tritone actually looks really cool, so I'm going to go with that one. Then for the mirrors, ooh, nice. We get terrain mirrors, which actually are a nice change, man. I think they look really cool. A lot better than the stock mirrors, so I'm going to go with those. Then we get mud guards. Um, so without, it looks pretty cool. Looks all right. And with, um, I'm not sure, man. They, they kind of sit funny. It's like they're not actually attached to the car properly. Looks really weird. I don't know if I like that. I think I'm just going to stay numb for the mudguards. So for the respray, I don't think I'm going to change this because I think the black actually works really well with that livery. So I'm just going to stay um, black for the primary and the secondary. Oh no, 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 no. I'm not going to stay black for both colours. We say black for the primary, but for the secondary, I'm going to go with chrome because that's what I wanted to do. But now I'm looking at it. 
I didn't realize that the secondary color was actually going to change that whole side panel of the car which is really disappointing I was hoping it was just going to change you know the grill and the, the ball bars at the front but it doesn't it actually changed that whole side bit which has actually ruined it for me so I am going to be staying um, black for the primary and the secondary color and we do get a roll cage option for this which is un unusual for a uh, SUV but it's welcomed the primary half cage looks quite good uh, secondary is basically the same and then the full cage and then the same but in the secondary color uh, we're just gonna go with a primary half cage roof accessories so we get the light bar which is awesome glad we can get something like that hopefully it works uh, we get a roof rack and then we get the secondary lights primary lights the raid roof which actually works quite nicely I like the way that goes well, again hopefully that light bar works and that's it uh, we're going to go with this one the raid roof kit because I think that suits the car really really nicely side steps we only get two additional options which is the slat step and the piped one um, I think uh, for the era of the car I think piped is the way to go suspension I'm not going to change it because it's an SUV and it looks awesome as it is and even though it doesn't drop too much I still think that's too low so I think the stock suspension height is the perfect kind of height transmission we're going to get a race transmission and the turbo tuning for the wheels the wheels are pretty standard to be honest nothing spectacular but they do look quite nice and also it's got a decent tread on them so if we go into wheel type and go into off road they change this really overly bobbly oh no they don't I think Rockstar have actually changed the tread on the off road tyres which is awesome okay that's even better so we can actually change them without the tyres changing because I remember the last time I used off road wheels the tyres were overly bobbly and they just looked really fucking stupid but Rockstar have actually changed the tyres for the off road category I'm not sure when they've done that but they've done it and it's def definitely a welcome change because they look a lot better man and I, I'll probably be using the off road wheels a lot more to be honest um, but some decent options I think the chrome versions of these actually look quite cool and I'm loving the look of these rock crawlers they're obviously in chrome and they just look really really good they, they suit this car perfectly so yeah the rock crawler is definitely the ones I'm going to go for for this build and to finish the build off we are going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint as always so then as we come out into the streets of Ellis it actually looks quite decent man and I think for $678,000 this is definitely one that you might want to pick up especially if you like doing off-road races because it seems like it's um, quite nippy to be fair it picks up speed quite nicely and we don't get many new SUVs in the game which are this unique to be honest um, we did get the Landstalker XL as well which I wasn't too impressed with uh, mainly because of the price of it but this feels good man the speed feels like it can pick up quite nicely it's not going to be the fastest obviously in the category um, but it's a classic 4x4 and I think it looks pretty decent uh, let's see if that light bar works it does as well nice so I'm really happy that the light bar actually works on this as well which is awesome uh, so yeah like I said uh, speeds pretty decent picks up quite nicely it feels solid as well it doesn't feel like it wants to spin out too much it feels like it's, uh, the traction is quite nice on it and there's not really much else you can say about an SUV other than the pricing is decent the customization is decent and it's a decent performer for the category that's in and I think I'd recommend this one if you're looking for a new SUV guys you know it's quite nice I like it so with that being said I hope you guys did enjoy this one if you did please smash that like button if you haven't already want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys I'm out adios